Flash game combo! There's a bunch of Flash games I want to play. I'm going to play a couple of them, and each of them is going to get about two minutes of playtime, except for the last one, but that's because the last one's the best one. You might be wondering, why am I looking at this part of the screen? You don't normally record that part of the screen. Well, the problem is these games are all different sizes, so I have to record the biggest size. So most of these you're going to get a little bit of extra. This is Zombie Exploder. This is a game I got a request to play. Um, <laughs> the reason I'm including it is because of that request. Uh, I don't like this game. <laughs> and it's all the controls fault. The options menu is great. Do you want blood and music? You can look at controls, but not set them. Go back. Alright, there's a quick little tutorial. Your fist always follows the mouse. So if you slam your mouse across the screen or whatever direction, your fist follows it. If you hold the left mouse button, then you kick and your foot follows the mouse. But each time you kick, your stamina goes down. And then you use the WASD keys to move. Now here's the problem. Okay, and if you hit spacebar, you jump. Or you can click the mouse button and you do a flying kick. Now watch this. This is me throwing punches. Look how bloody... Ugh. 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 See how wonderfully effective that was? Okay, next level. Take a look at this. Okay, so here I go. I'm going all hog wild on the punching. Punch, 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 punch. Punch! And yet I get caught somehow. But if you just do this, you do like the giant. Ah! 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 Let go. It happened because he was so close to the wall. You need him in the middle of the room so you can run past them. That way they never catch you. You just keep a fist up. Okay, I lied. Apparently they do catch you sometimes. But yeah, the controls in this game, I can't get a hold of them at all. I can't make it do what I want to, unless I'm kicking. But of course, kicking, you run out of power so quickly. The actual punching part, I can never get him to follow the punching that I want him to do. Ugh. 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 Oh, man. All right, we've got like... 30 seconds of this game left. <laughs> ah, I just love this. Ah, ah, ah. Bush, bush, ah, let go of me. Boom. Ah, ah. And I don't know why the zombies just randomly fall either. You'll run like Kenyans. Boom. And there's, like, combos and stuff that you can do, but I can't get anything to work because it, the control sucks so much. So enough of that game. Let's play a good mouse game, Forever Samurai. This game, by Bubblebox, uses the mouse in uh, much the same way as the other game. You, you, you move by using the WASD keys. We'll just play casual, it's because it's easy. But all of your attacks are done with the mouse. So here I'm walking, I'm jumping, but if I want to attack this guy... Boom! I just slide right through him. Or you click, and that'll let you get your combo movements on. There you go. Boom, 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 boom! Pacha! And I love that the game automatically pauses when your mouse moves off screen, so it keeps you from doing stupid stuff. Sha! Boom! Boom! If you ever see the guys turning blue, Normally when I play this, I play it on a slightly larger screen, so... But it's already the largest game. Wee! So I'm usually not falling off the screen so much with my mouse. You can also, if I can get one in air, jump up in air and do an air combo and never have to land. Because you can just keep constantly going back and forth like that. Ow, I've never had so much trouble. I played through this whole game on uh, normal mode, and I died once. But apparently fighting these Kappas on easy mode. At the end of each of the levels, you get experience points based on what you've done throughout the level. And then you use them to buy upgrades. You can upgrade your damage. You can upgrade your hit points. You can upgrade, uh, like, your dash attack. Shoo. And then, like, your launch attack and your destruction attack. 
Killing enemies gets you experience. These guys are pretty cool because these guys actually know how to block. And usually when they've got a dash attack kind of like you do. So what they'll do is they'll block you and then dash through you. Oh, crud. We're already up out of time for this game. But that's the end of the first level. So you'll see here I've got 133 experience. If you walk a little bit further, it brings up the shop. And I've already bought some of these upgrades. So you just come through again and buy them. So that is Forever Samurai. Click. Now this is the game we're here to play. Wait, that means... Yeah, this is not the game we want to take yet. We want to do this game. This game we're not going to play for a whole minute. This is called Highway Jumper. You have a hobby of standing in the middle of the highway and jumping over speeding cars because you're retarded or something. Press space to jump over the cars. We'll play it on normal difficulty. Whee! If you jump too early, you land on the back of the car and you die. If you jump too late, <laughs> you get smashed it by the car. And the little trick is, rather than... Ow. You can hold the space bar and then just release it to do the jump. It gets insanely difficult, and I don't know how they managed it. On easy mode, I jumped 13 times on easy mode, and I just got bored because it was so easy. <laughs> There's my my achievement for jumping over one. The achievements are literally jumping over one car, five cars in a row, and ten cars in a row. But you can't get them on easy mode, so my 13 cars in a row doesn't count. But yeah, easy mode, I couldn't not make it over the car. I don't think I died once in easy mode until after 13 cars, I just stood there and let the car hit me. <laughs> I'm out of practice. I, was, I actually did a little bit better than this uh, last night when I was playing it. And someone was like, why is this game on Newgrounds? Why did this game get front page? Well, back in the day, these were all of the games on Newgrounds looked like this. That's good. And I got run over. But here's the game we're here to play. This is The Company of Myself by Free as a Nerd. I might even one day go back and do a full playthrough of this game. Because it's a puzzle game. It's also an artsy game. And it's also a pixel game. So it's everything I love. So we're going to play a new game so we can start at the beginning. I'll let you play the game to do the story since we've got so little time. Essentially, you're here and you use the arrow keys to move. So my attention is stolen by a green square on the other end of the room. I want to be its friend more than anything that I've ever wanted. I decide to use the arrow keys to approach it. The square does not react to my approach. Does it not notice me? Or is it only pretending not to notice me? Which would be worse? Up close, I can see that the green square is actually a door. I think that we can be friends anyway. I decide to push the space bar to move to the next room. And then there's a little help up here. I'm guessing that goes to a walkthrough. Spotting a couple of platforms ahead, I decide to use the up arrow key to jump over them. I decide that Mr. Door is a better friend than the platforms. I also note that I can pause the game by pressing P or the escape key. The backstory in this is that this guy is all alone, and uh, he's sort of engaging in an exercise of his own individuality and his isolation. Now that risk is involved, jumping on platforms doesn't seem as easy to me. Bonk. Bonk. I start thinking about how awful it would be to fall. Luckily, I know that I can push the R key at any time to restart the level. By the way, you will restart this game a lot. I find myself proud of and possibly surprised by my ability to leap over harrowing gaps. Even from back here, I can tell that the ledge ahead is too high for me to jump. I'm going to restart. You walk here. I begin to wonder what would happen if I pressed the space bar before I completed a level. And this is the moment where I'm like, okay, this is going to be an awesome, fun puzzle game. Your silhouette is used. I feel confused and a bit tingly, but mostly just confused. And there are levels where you have to use multiples of your silhouettes. It gets real... Uh, you have to start thinking way ahead of yourself in order to solve the levels. I briefly forgot to read that. Here's one of the first ones. I haven't talked to anyone lately, but at least I can solve my own problems. Hence the company of myself. So I'll restart. I'm gonna, just going to walk to here. Restart. This time with spacebar. And he'll go there. Then I'll walk to here. Restart. Now it looks there's two of them. 
So I'll jump up here, jump up here, jump up here, jump up here, restart. You might wonder why I keep stopping and waiting for the other guys to move forward. You can jump on all of them. So sometimes you'll jump up and you'll get on top of two of them. And if one of them jumps while you're still on top of them, you'll fall pretty much uncontrollably down the pit. I died a lot here. Like, I can jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up. <laughs> and they all just follow exactly the movements that you had before. Luckily, this is the last one, so I just need to get up here. The controls are a bit loose. I fell in the pit a lot of times just from accidentally tapping. Geronimo! We're out running out of time. Alright, so here you run down. You use the A button to pull a switch. And then you restart. Come over here. Come on, get down there and pull that switch in time. I'm running like a madman. I'm running like a madman. Come on, pull the switch. Pull the switch. Pull the switch. And there you go. This is an awesome game. Go play it. It's on Newgrounds' front page, the company of myself.